Hello, this is the automation of ISO 10555, the Custom Automated Corrosion Test Instrument, or CACTI prototype, by Biomedical Engineering Senior Design Team 3 and sponsored by Boston Scientific. The first rule in medicine is to do no harm. The ISO 10555 standard used at Boston Scientific outlines an accelerated life cycle of a catheter while in packaging, storage, and use to ensure that no corrosion is present before and during use. The test starts with a five-hour immersion in saline solution and then is manually transferred to boiling deionized water for 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes is up, then the beaker is removed from the hot plate and allowed to cool to 37 degrees C unassisted, which ends up taking about one full hour. The beaker is then transferred into an oven where it can be incubated at 37 degrees C for 48 hours. Once the 48 hours is up, then the beaker is removed and the sample is allowed to still air dry until it can be visually inspected. The problem with this current test method is that it lacks flexibility of start times. Since the tests uh, last about 55 hours in total, it can only be started on Monday and Tuesday morning so that it can be fully completed by Wednesday or Thursday and inspected on that following Friday. The Test process also lacks productivity by tying up personnel for hours at a time. It totals about two hours where the personnel will have to be in the lab and actually watching and uh, interfering with the test. Also, there's no commercial product currently on the market for this test or a similar test that could be adjusted to fit this one. The objective of Team 3 was to create a practical, reliable, robust, and reproducible testing instrument that will perform the corrosion resistance test in an automated manner with electronic measurements and data recording capabilities. Here we have a video of the prototype that we built in action uh, in our lab, and you can see that the sample is dropped into the first beaker, which will contain the NACL solution, and then the table is turned via gears underneath uh, using a stepper motor, and then the sample is then allowed to be dropped back into deionized boiling water, and then once that's cooled down to 37 degrees Celsius as following the previous test method, the table is then turned again and dropped into the incubation station, uh, where we use a water bath to incubate it at 37 degrees C instead of an oven for ease of input and output of the sample. The table then moves back around to its starting position to avoid tangling of wires. Here we have the circuit design for our prototype where the brain of the design is an Arduino Uno using relays, temperature sensors, real-time clock module, and stepper motors as well as their drivers to sense and control the machine. The relays control the power to the hot plate, water bath, and stepper motor to conserve energy when they are not needed. The temperature sensor and RTC module sense and detect when each step starts and is completed, sending their information to the GUI that comes with the program where it can be read in real time. The stepper motors are used to move the sample between the stations where the little motor raises and lowers it while the larger motor turns the table beneath it to each step. Here we have images of our prototype. The first picture is a front view where you can see components sitting on top of that plate, as well as an overhead view where you can see where the sample is dropped from, as well as the containing unit of that sample, which is a netting, which is inert. We also have an image of our circuit design that is held in the electronics box underneath, as well as a picture of the gears that we printed ourselves out of the polylactic acid filament used for fast prototyping development. Here we also have an image of the GUI that will appear on the computer next to the machine, which includes a checklist of fail safes to make sure that the technician or person running the test has all of these components filled with the appropriate solution. There's also real-time presentation of the air temperature, boiling plate water temperature, and water bath beaker temperature, as well as times. Overall, we were able to design, prototype, and document a testing instrument capable of following the ISO 10555 corrosion resistance test, monitor and record all the timing and temperature throughout the test process, and reduce the technician interference from about two hours to 10 minutes through elimination of manual transfer and control of the equipment.